Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a blurred vision effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Inside the cut window, inside your DaVinci Resolve interface, press Ctrl and I to find the video clip that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. Left click once on change when the following window appears. Under master in your media pool, left click once on the thumbnail of the video clip that you have just inserted. Left click once on append underneath your media pool. Your video clip should now appear at the start of your timeline in your video project. Go to select the Fusion tab at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface. Left click once. Inside your Fusion window, you should have two nodes appearing on a screen in the Nodes window in the bottom left corner. One called Media In 1 and the second called Media Out 1. If you can't see these two nodes together, left click, hold your mouse button down and drag one of the nodes towards the other node. The red rectangle represents the media in node and the blue rectangle represents the media out node on my screen here. If I select and drag my media in one node across closer to the out node and left click once on this screen in the corner, I should now see these two nodes together. I'm going to drag the media out one node slightly further away from the input node. Media in one basically represents the video clip that has been imported into the video project. Media out one represents the final output of our video project. Left click once on media in one. My intention is to create a video clip where a blur effect appears on screen before the halfway point, And then towards the end, a second more extreme blurred effect is applied to my video clip. With your media in one node selected, as you can tell with the red outline, hold shift and press space on your keyboard. Using the scroll bar on the right of the window that appears, or using the search box which appears at the bottom above cancel and add, search for directional blur. Left click once on the tool which has a magic wand icon next to the tool name. Left click once on add. You should now see a third node appearing inside your node windows connected to media in one and media out one. This should be the subsequent node appearing after your initial input, as you can tell with the arrowheads on the yellow lines which appear also. The preview window for our media out one node appears at the top of our screen here inside Fusion. Underneath the timeline with the various numbers displayed underneath the video clip preview, we can see the frame number. A frame is an individual image which makes up our video clip. In this particular example here that I'm using in this tutorial, my video clip comprises of 299 frames. The zero represents the very first frame on our timeline. Ensure that the directional blur one node is selected inside your nodes window. Left click once. To the right underneath inspector, we should see some properties for the directional blur tool appearing. At the top of these options, we have blur strength, which is currently set to 0.2. In order to create the blurred vision effect, this needs to be modified throughout the video clip. At the start of my video clip, I do not wish for any additional blurred strength to be applied to my visual content. Therefore, I'm going to left click on the diamond icon which appears next to the 0.2 value so that this changes to red. This has established frame 0 as a keyframe and will apply the same effect to subsequent frames until another keyframe with different properties has been set. The number which appears underneath the media out one preview window refers to the frame number which is being currently selected on the timeline. In this case here, the very first frame zero is being selected using a red line which you should see on the timeline here underneath the video clip itself. 
to point to a different frame number on the timeline here, we need to left click on the red line, hold the mouse button down and drag this. In this case here, I'm going to bring this red line over to frame 30. The frame number that the red line is pointing to can also be changed manually by double left clicking inside the box in the bottom right corner and the video editor manually typing in the number themselves. Note in the inspector window when we go to frame 30 in my video clip here, the diamond shape next to blur strength is not red. In order to ensure that there is no added blur effect at the start of my video, I'm going to left click on this icon once to add a keyframe. This will ensure that in the first 30 frames of my video, there is no added blur effect. From frame 30 onwards, I want my initial blur effect to develop on screen. I'm going to skip ahead to frame 80 now. Left click once on the keyframe diamond next to blur strength. And to add a blur effect, I'm going to increase the blur strength from 0.2 to 0.5. You can do this manually by typing the number in yourself. Press enter if you have typed in the number manually. Or you can adjust the strength by left clicking on the gray circle which appears on the black line next to blur strength and using your mouse cursor to drag this along. We can see in the video preview that by frame 80 of my particular project here, the visual content has been given a blur effect. By frame 120, I want for the blur strength to be reduced. With the red line at the relevant frame number, I'm going to add another keyframe and change 0.5 back to 0.2. The higher this particular strength, the more significant your blur effect will be on your final video. I now wish for my second, more stronger blur effect to be added from this point onwards. I'm going to go to frame 220. Again, add another keyframe here before changing the blur strength to 0.6. Now I'm going to go to 260 where I want the blur strength to decrease slightly. Again, add another keyframe here so that your blur strength can be modified across a particular range of frames. I'm going to change the blur strength to 0.4 and I wish for this blur strength to be maintained for the rest of my video. Therefore, I need to go to my final frame which as indicated again by one of the boxes in the bottom left corner of my Media Out 1 preview is 299. With the blur strength already at 0.4, all I need to do here is left click once on the keyframe diamond. And the result should be a first person perspective of someone who is dizzy or sleepy. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the video and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.